Okay, so it's physics, and we want to do all this cool stuff. We want to do electric fields and magnetic fields and things like that. But you can't just ignore the stuff from the previous semester. We still need some of those things. In particular, we need unit conversions. I guess we kind of need scientific notation. I, I don't know how much. I'll just do an example of that. And then vectors. And those are the things I want to cover. So maybe seeing how far this goes, let's do, start with unit conversions. Okay, so let's say I measure something. I measure a distance. I'll start with the easiest one. And I say the distance S is 22 centimeters. Okay, so when you have a quantity and you don't have the units, then you, you don't have anything, right? If I say, how long was it? And you said 22, I'd say 22 what? 22 chickens? I don't know. 22 inches? That's a bad unit. 22 millimeters? Meters? We don't know. So you have to put that unit in there. Okay, so now what if I want to write that distance in uh, the same value, but I want to say how far was it in meters? Now that one's pretty easy. You may say, I can convert meters, centimeters to meters. I know it's 100, so I just multiply by 100. Or wait, do I divide by 100? And then you get in that trap and you try to just think, hmm, well, it should be bigger. Wait, it should be smaller. But don't do that, okay? Because although you can use your intuition on this problem, you're going to get to cases where you can't do that, okay? So I'm going to show you what to do for all the cases that always work. Okay, so here I have a distance of 22 centimeters. Suppose I multiplied by, um, let's say, this. I multiply by the fraction 2 over 2. Well, if I do that, I don't change the value because 2 over 2 is 1. So I'm not, I can do that. I, I can do that to this side, and I can do that to this side, multiply by 1. I am still have an equation. And that's an important part of unit conversion, is that I don't mess up the equation. So I have to multiply by 1. Okay, so <clears throat> that doesn't really help me too much, multiplying by 2 over 2. But what if I multiplied by 1 meter over 100 centimeters? 1 meter is 100 centimeters. So when I div multiply by 1 meter divided by 100 centimeters, I'm multiplying by 1. And I'm not changing anything. So it's okay. Now, you can see here I have the centimeter units actually can cancel. And I get 22 times 1 meters over 100. So I get 0 0.22 meters. Unit conversion. Just like that. Okay. Uh, let's do um, another one. I'm going to do two more examples. But the key there, multiply by 1. Okay, let's convert. This one will be a little bit more involved, so I'll start way over here. Let's convert the speed of light, C equals 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And I want that to be in units of kilometers per hour. Why? I don't really care. Okay, but I do want it in kilometers per hour. Okay, so here we have a problem because I have meters per second and I need to convert two units. So it's okay. We just do it one at a time. Okay, so I'm going to say right here, multiply this by one kilometer over a thousand, a thousand meters. Um, now, here's another thing that I didn't really point out before. If I want to convert to kilometers and I have meters to kilometers, then I want the kilometers on the top and meters on the bottom. If you flip that upside down and you had 1,000 meters over one kilometer, then the meters wouldn't cancel. Okay. So that's going to cancel the meters and I'm going to get kilometers per second. And I'm not going to multiply it out yet, okay, because I don't really care. So, <coughs> and it doesn't matter that this is in scientific notation. I'm going to say something about significant figures at the end remind me. Okay, so now I need to do seconds to hours. I don't know how many seconds are an hour. I know how many seconds are in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to say I know I want um, one, actually it's 60 seconds over one minute. And this would be kilometers per minute. But now I need to convert minutes to hours. So I'm going to say 60 minutes over one hour. So you see here I get the uh, 
seconds cancel and the minutes cancel and I get kilometers per hour. Okay, so let's put this in your calculator. This is a great opportunity to practice putting scientific notation in your calculator. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this with Python later. Uh, and I don't know what calculator you have, but I have this. I don't know that you have a calculator. I found this one. Okay. This is a Casio or something, and it's 11 bucks. So you can get the more fancy scientific calculators. You want to make sure that it has uh, some things like sine, cosine, tangent. Those are really important. Um, and the scientific note. See, I can't remember. I don't even know how to use these. Uh, there's a scientific notation button on here. It's on there. Fix. Boy, I feel dumb. I can't even see. See, I have to look over my glasses. It's on, there it is. E, 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 right there. Okay, so I'm gonna enter this in. So let's turn this sucker on, on. So the first thing I'm gonna do, three times in the eighth. So here's the problem with people who make mistakes. They say three times scientific notation, uh, 10 to the eighth power, but they do 10 scientific notation E8, which is actually 10 times 10 to the eighth. Yeah, I know you're gonna make that mistake, don't. Okay, so let's say I'm gonna enter it, enter it as three, and then scientific notation, oops, I did that wrong. Three, scientific notation, eight. Uh, and then I'm gonna multiply by one, duh. Divide by a thousand. So I'm just gonna divide by a thousand, and I get that. See, here's the other problem. If you just enter this in just like that, you're gonna make an order of operations problem. So I might just do one step at a time and write it down. Now I'm gonna multiply that by sixty. Now I'm gonna multiply that by sixty again. Look at that. That's a bad answer. Okay, because that's not, I don't want to write that, that down. So I'm going to write that down as, I'm going to do this <clears throat> as equals 1.08 times 10 to the, now I'm going to count those zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 kilometers per hour. I think that's right, but honestly, like I said, I do this incorrectly in my calculator all the time, so... Get a calculator. Make sure you know how to use it. Enter in a problem that you know the right answer and check to see if you get the same answer. Something like this. And in fact, let me just double check this on my Python calculator uh, just to make sure I'm not telling you the wrong thing. So I'm down here at my computer. Yeah, that's the right answer. Okay, whew. That's a little scary there. Okay, let's do another problem. But that one had scientific notation. Okay, let's convert <clears throat> density because this has another big problem in it that you're gonna make a mistake on. You're not gonna make a mistake because I'm telling you not to make a mistake. Okay, so let's say a density of 2.2 grams per cubic centimeter. Um, so this is the unit for density that they use in chemistry. In physics, we often use kilograms per cubic meter. So let's convert this to kilograms per cubic meter. Again, we need to do it two steps. First, I'm gonna convert <clears throat> the grams to kilograms. So I know that there's one kilogram, and that's a thousand grams. Okay, that part's easy. The grams cancel. Now you say, oh, now we're gonna do centimeters. Let's do the centimeters. Okay, so I have uh, centimeters are on the bottom, so I want to put, uh, if I did this, 100 centimeters over one meter. Let's drop my paper. And so that's what we'd want, right? And it looks like it'd work, but it doesn't work. Because see, down here on the bottom, I have centimeters cubed, and this is centimeters. So if I, once I did this, I would have uh, the grams of cancel, I'd have kilogram per meter centimeter squared yeah i know which you can do that it's just not very useful so the units don't actually cancel because it's not centimeters it's centimeters cubed so i need to do it again i need to do it actually three times so really you could write this like that okay so now i have uh row i'm going to write this out 
2.2, the grams canceled, so I get uh, one kilogram. Well, let's just do, let's, we, the units are all right. So let's just write this as, uh, I can write the units in the front. Kilogram per cubic meter. Now the numbers, I have 2.2, I have a thousand, one over a thousand, so I'm gonna write that as uh, one over a thousand. And then I have a hundred cubed. So that's going to be, it's going to be three sets of two zeros. Okay. So, but now I have a thousand, I have, uh, this is a million divided by a thousand. So we get rid of three of those and I have a thousand. So now I just have 2.2 .2 times a thousand. So the density is 2,200 kilograms per cubic meter. And you say, whoa, 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 that's too high. No, it's not, okay? This, see that little, that little centimeter right there? Now imagine a box, a, a cubic centimeter is like that big. A cubic meter is like boom, boom, boom. It's huge, okay? So it's gonna have a very high mass for that. Okay, <coughs> that point, be careful about units that are raised to power. Okay. Last point, and then I'll make another video for vectors. Last point, what about significant figures? I don't care about significant figures. Significant figures are a way to account for measurement and uncertainty. So if you were in the lab and you were actually measuring something, uh, we can't measure things to 100, you know, absolute precision. There's always some uncertainty in there. Significant figures are a way to account for that uncertainty. We're doing a lecture class and we're not really gonna be collecting data because that's in the lab class. Uh, so we don't really need to worry about significant figures. So what should you do? Just don't go crazy, that's all I'm gonna say. Use your best judgment. And in fact, if you do wanna deal uncertainty, use uncertainty, don't use significant figures because they're terrible, it's terrible. Terrible, don't, okay. Um, so when you write things out, you know, write it out so that we could both agree on the number. If you round to just one digit, it's going to make things hard. If you write out a hundred digits, it's just going to be irritating. So just, just use your best judgment and that's fine. Okay. We don't really care about the number at the end anyway. It's the idea that's ma that matters. Okay. That's good enough for now.